Hello, in this video I'm going to be talking about how to read and understand your pathology report. I'm going to focus on the stage of the tumor. Before I go on, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to our channel. We have so much good content. If you subscribe, if you ring the bell, you will get alerted to new videos we have, and it's usually a couple of weeks, so there's always something new to watch. So what is the stage of breast cancer? What does it mean, and how do we figure it out? So the stage of the cancer, for really any cancer, describes the extent of the tumor, sort of the volume of the tumor and where it is in the body. Many cancers, including breast cancer, are staged according to the tumor node metastasis system, the TNM staging system. And that's what I'll be referring to today. Your stage is a really important part of how treatment decisions are made and what treatments will be offered to you. So if you want to learn more about the stage of your tumor, what it means, the treatment options available to you, I'd love to invite you to go to yerba.com. You will get there your personalized yerba report, which will tell you all the features that are known about your tumor so far and all the treatment options, including the pros and cons of those treatments. Your report is created by cross-referencing your medical records, which you give us permission to access, with the latest medical evidence, and then generates a report as I've described, and it's updated in real time. So if your report is first given to you before you've had surgery, and the stage we give you is called the clinical stage based on what we see on exam and based on our imaging results, it will be updated after you have surgery. It's updated after you have chemotherapy therapy, and then you can go back and see what treatment options are now offered. This is really hard to get from your portal. This is very different from your portal. And while the Yerba report does not replace your relationship with your doctor, it can help you prepare for your appointments, and it can help you understand some of the terminology. There is a lot of jargon in medicine. Sometimes we catch ourselves using jargon with patients, and we have to stop ourselves, but we're not always good at that. And your Yerba report is jargon-free. So check out your Yerba report at yerba.com. All right, let's jump into the TNM staging. It starts with the tumor. So your tumor size will be classified as tumor in situ, which means ductal carcinoma in situ. The tumor hasn't invaded through the basement membrane, and that's called TIS. So it's a capital T and a lowercase i and a lowercase s, and that means it's sitting in the place. It hasn't gone through the basement membrane. We have another video about ductal carcinoma in situ you might want to check out. In somebody who has invasive breast cancer in the lymph nodes, which we're going to get to in just a minute, if their lymph nodes have breast cancer, but there's no tumor found in the breast, that's a T0 tumor. A T1 tumor is invasive. This is an invasive cancer, and this tumor is greater than zero, right? It's gotta be present, but it's up to, and it's up to two centimeters. That's really the size of a AA battery. We use the largest dimension of a tumor. So if a tumor, and they're generally not spherical, if a tumor is a little oblong, we use the largest dimension. Why do we do that? Because that's been shown to be associated with prognosis and with benefit from treatment. So if your tumor is six millimeters by 11 millimeters by seven millimeters, we're going to say that's an 11 millimeter tumor or 1.1 centimeters. A T2 tumor, is 2.1 centimeters up to five centimeters. So it's a bigger tumor, it's invasive, just like a T1 tumor, and it's not more than five centimeters. A T3 tumor is a tumor over five centimeters, and a T4 tumor is, regardless of the size, a tumor that invades the nearby structures, so it can invade the skin, or it can go down to the chest wall and invade through to the muscle. So even if this is a smaller tumor, this is a T4 tumor. Again, uh, the higher the T stage, the more the risk of recurrence. And so it doesn't matter what size it is, a T4 tumor is invaded nearby structures. All right, let's, that's a T stage. The next thing is the N stage. 
The N stands for lymph nodes. Nodes are the glands throughout our body that basically clear the lymphatic fluid and can catch infection or tumor cells. And the ones in our body that most often do that for the breast are in the armpit on the same side as the breast, over the collarbone, and under the breastbone. We have many more lymph nodes throughout our body, but those are the ones that the breast lymph reaches first. If those are positive or have cancer cells in them, then it's more likely, the tumor's a higher stage, it's more likely that the cancer would recur based on, depending on other factors as well. And that will drive treatment recommendations. You can see why stage is so important in terms of what treatments you might be offered. N0 disease means lymph nodes were looked at and no lymph nodes were found to have cancer. N1 means one to three lymph nodes had cancer in them. Doesn't matter how many were examined, if there are one, two, or three lymph nodes, that's N1 disease. N2 disease is four to nine positive nodes, and N3 disease is 10 or more nodes. NX disease, if you see that after a biopsy or a lumpectomy, means that lymph nodes haven't been examined yet. It, we can't say whether they're positive or negative because they haven't yet been examined. Assessing the lymph nodes is the part of almost everybody's treatment plan with the exception of women over 70 and people where the tumor was small with negative margins that are hormone receptor positive and treatment wouldn't be altered based on the lymph node result. We have a separate video on looking at lymph nodes in people 70 and over based on recent studies that are coming out. Okay, so we talked about tumor stage, nodal stage or lymph node stage. Next, I'm going to be talking about the M stage and that stands for metastasis. Metastasis means cancer cells have spread from the region and local area, so the breast and the lymph nodes, to other parts of the body that are further away. In breast cancer, that could be liver, lung, bone. There's really almost no place that breast cancer cells can't spread. This is not to scare you, rather to validate if you've heard of people who've had lymph no uh, cancer metastases in other parts of the body. And there are only two levels for this. There's M0, meaning no metastases are seen, and there's M1, meaning yes, there are metastases, and it doesn't matter how many. There's a newer staging system for metastases that we can talk about in another video, but if we see cancer in other parts of the body, this is M1 disease. If we don't see any, or if people don't need to have scans because they have stage one or two or three breast cancer, we actually call this M0. MX is something many of you have written about in the comments. MX disease means there's something I'd like to biopsy that I can't biopsy. It doesn't mean I haven't done scans. If there is an X in any of your staging, it means we can't say what stage you have. So in breast cancer, this is really important, MX is useful only in somebody where I am pretty sure they have metastases to the liver, lung, or bone, and I tried to do a biopsy and I couldn't. That's MX. Otherwise, it's M0 or M1. So what do we do with the T, the N, and the M? We put them together and derive what's called the American Joint Commission for Cancer, AJCC, staging system. And this is based on stage zero, one, two, three, or four. I'm gonna dispense with, T, with stage zero, that's non-invasive breast cancer, stage zero, ductal carcinoma in situ. Stage one tumors, you can, you, to have stage one disease, you have to have a tumor that's no bigger than two centimeters, so a T1 tumor, and your nodes have to be negative. So this is a T1 N0 tumor. We'll make this a stage one cancer. You can get to stage two a couple different ways. You can be, have a stage two tumor, if your tumor is a T2 between two centimeters and less than five centimeters, and or if you have one to three positive nodes, so N1 disease. I hope you're keeping up with this, I bet you are. Stage three disease is considered when you have a larger tumor, even if you have negative nodes. So if you have a T3 tumor or a T4 tumor, even if your lymph nodes are negative, 
the tumor size alone and characteristics get you to stage three, or you can have four or more lymph nodes and it doesn't matter what the tumor size is. So if you have nine nodes and your tumor is tiny, that's still stage three disease. And if you have a T4 tumor, regardless of the nodes, that's stage three. So you can see there's some heterogeneity, some variety even within stage. Stage four disease is if at the time you're diagnosed with breast cancer, you have distant disease, other areas of your body that biopsy has shown are breast cancer that's spread to other areas, doesn't matter how big the tumor is. This is, so T any, node any, T any, N any. If the M is one, remember M can be one, zero, or X, if we can't biopsy something, that's stage four disease. So stage four disease is at the time of diagnosis. I've covered a lot and I have more to cover. There are other things in your pathology report and we have videos on each of these, but this video would not be complete without mentioning the other things that are important in your pathology report. First of all is grade. This is how active or how different from normal breast tissue the cancer cells look. Grade goes from one to three and that Grade one tumors are less active and grade three are more active, more rapidly dividing. The next thing that's really important are the hormone receptors, estrogen receptor and progesterone receptor. And each of these will be looked at under the microscope using special tests to see if they're present and often the extent of presentness. So is it strongly positive or borderline positive? These are important in determining both prognosis and predicting what treatments are likely to improve your outcome. The other thing you'll see in your pathology report is the HER2 status that stands for Human Epidermal Growth Factor Receptor 2. Can you see why we call it HER2 just for the sake of time? So the HER2 status, which can be measured a couple different ways, will also determine prognosis, how you're gonna do even if you don't get treated, and what treatments are likely to help improve your survival and your outcomes. The other thing you may see is angiolymphatic invasion, which is also called, just to make things complicated, lymphovascular invasion. Both of these are exactly the same, and you will see whether that's present or not. It's not a scale, there's no levels of it, it's either present or not. The other thing you're gonna see are margins. So are the margins negative or is there a margin where the tumor's right up to the edge of where the doctor cut to take the tumor out? I know I've covered a lot. We've got lots of videos on all of these topics. This is sort of a, you've just been diagnosed, how do you understand your pathology report? And again, going to yerba.com and Getting your personalized report is gonna be so helpful because everything will be explained just for you. This video covered absolutely everything, which I think can be really helpful, but it might be too much. Your Yerba report will be just for you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.